Yo, what is up guys? James Carter TV here to recap the Seattle Seahawks playoff wildcard victory over the Seattle Seahawks and mainly the final play or the second to final play because I guess the final play was a kneel down by Russell Wilson but the second to final play in which Blair Walsh, the Minnesota Vikings kicker, missed a 27 27 yard field goal to uh, that would have put the Vikings ahead and essentially won them the game but instead doomed their fate and I can't even believe it right now you know and this very reminiscent of Billy Cundiff back in 2012 or 2011 I believe I believe it was 2012 like January 2012 but it was the, after the 2011 season with an opportunity to tie the game to send the Ravens and Patriots into overtime. He missed that field goal. The Ravens lost that game. This one had a chance to win the game. And it's, it was even five yards less. That Billy Condiff was a 32-yard field goal. And now when you type in Billy Condiff on Google, the next words that come up, our missed field goal. He is now synonymous and infamous for that missed field goal. And now the same fate will be attached to Blair Walsh. It is absolutely unfortunate. I feel very sorry for Minnesota Vikings fans because I, like many of you, weren't expecting the Vikings to win this game today. We wanted to pick the Seahawks because they're a team that's gone to the Super Bowl two straight years now. And that's proven to be able to win these playoff games. But the Vikings look poised to win this football game, much to my surprise and much to the surprise of many. They led, uh, Teddy Bridgewater mainly led his team down the field. Kyle Rudolph, the tight end for the Vikings, made some plays to move their team down the field. Get all the way down there. Only to miss the 27-yard field goal. And it's so odd because Blair Walsh had been making field goals. He made three field goals today. He's the only Viking that put up points today. Blair Walsh is the only one. He put up, I think he made over 40-yard field goal or two field goals over 40 yards. And yet now, when the game's on the line, 27-yard chip shot, he misses. And it's so inexplicable. And people are talking about the laces. The football laces were out. All oh, kicks don't like when the football laces are out. Who cares? You choke like a dog and there's no way around it. And some people are saying, and I get it, but some people are saying, well, it's okay. This was still a nice season for the Vikings and they've set themselves up for long term success. success. So, yay, everything's going to be fine for the Vikings. I'm not so sure. Look, it's easy to say that. And I want to believe that. And I'll probably pick them to make the playoffs next year and probably to do things in the playoffs. But there was once upon a time where we thought Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers would be around for a decade. And they disseminated quickly. When you're in the playoffs and you have opportunities to win games, you got to win games. Because although it may appear as if we're young, we're building, we're a great team for the next decade, it, it's not that easy in the NFL. It's not. If it was that easy, a lot of other teams would be doing it. So I want to believe this is the beginning of sustained success for the Minnesota Vikings. But sometimes it's not that easy. And Adrian Peterson ain't getting any younger. And there are so many issues with this team. So I am, again, I'm still on the Vikings bandwagon, but... It's not going to be 100% like some of you are saying. Like, it's okay. The Vikings will win a Super Bowl in the upcoming decade. Again, I thought the 49ers would win Super Bowls. I thought, oh, my God, Harbaugh, Kaepernick. Let Kaepernick's going to grow. They're going to get better. And then they're going to win Super Bowls. No, well, where are they? They're gone. It, just like that, you can go away. So even though it appears as if, okay, we're great, and even the Falcons had sustained success. They made the playoffs for years and years. Three straight years they made the playoffs, went 13-3. Uh, but then now they're gone again. So when you're in the playoffs, it, it may appear as if you'll be here for a while. It's hard. The only teams that are here for a while are the Patriots, the Packers, any team with Peyton Manning. That's it, really. So even though it may appear as if, oh, it's okay because we'll be here for a while, I don't know. It's not that easy. You got to take advantage of your opportunities. They fail to do so here. And now the Seahawks. 
I'll give them a little bit of slack because this was just a bad game all around for both teams in horrible conditions, negative six degrees at kickoff, Fahrenheit, of course. Uh, Celsius, it wouldn't be that bad. But Fahrenheit, and yeah, wow, it, it was a pretty ugly football game for the first half. Uh, Minnesota was up 3-0. to zero. Uh, Seattle will now go up against um, the Carolina Panthers next week. And this is going to be a tough game for me to predict. Because the Carolina Panthers have been a really good team. And I think I'm going to lean on them. I think I'm going to pick them right now, to be honest with you. I like to hold my picks until I finally get my prediction video. But I think that's where I'm leaning. But I may change my mind. I just don't think it's a Seattle's year. Kind of like Pittsburgh. Both Pittsburgh and Seattle won. I'm not sure this is their year. We want to talk a lot about they're the most dangerous teams in their conference. Sure. But I don't think it's their years. I don't see magic. I don't see fire. And I normally see this kind of thing. Excuse me. Because when the Ravens won their Super Bowl, I was on record. I picked them not only before the season, but before the playoffs, before the preseason. I picked the Ravens because I saw that magic. And then when they are going into the playoffs, I could see that magic. I don't see it here with the Seahawks team. I don't see it with the Steelers team. But we'll see. I mean, maybe they'll win the Super Bowl. Maybe they'll. But I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's going to be good enough this year. But we'll see what happens. Next game, we have the Green Bay Packers and the Washington Redskins. I'll be back to recap that. Until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.